What's good, y'all? It's not stop, no, no, with another video. So, my review for the Earl Spence Jr. versus Danny Garcia win that just happened uh, for for the Saturday fight, Fox Pay Review. Just real quick, it it's really unfortunate to where we have to see these weigh-ins, um, you know, being the whole COVID thing going on, because you know, motherfuckers don't know how to stay put and stay home. For two weeks or a week. Um, that's y'all fault. Period. Anyways. Enough of that. Um, the uh, weigh in. You know. Low energy. They're just going through the motions. Because. You know. There's no, there's no crowd. Just COVID policy. Right. So we really can't. Take away anything. As far as you know, emotion or frustration or, or, you know, look at people's body language and stuff like that. Like we used to, like we're used to seeing, um, with that being said, both of them, um, weighed in, uh, trimmed and ready, uh, under the 147 pound limit for the IBF trap. Um, they're both professionals. I don't think they ever missed a a a weigh in, so that's 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 normal. Um, no stripping down of clothes, no nothing like that. So that's a good thing. Um, and then you know the face off. They're like twenty feet apart and stuff. So you know, take that with a grain of salt. So for Saturday, my prediction for Saturday is obviously Errol Spence Jr. Uh, most likely that's who everybody else has. Um, that's what you should be having to win this fight. Um, just by uh, skill level, output, ring generalship, size and uh boxing iq alone um will it be a boring match no it will not uh danny garcia usually brings it he's a formidable opponent um two division world champion he's been an underdog before uh you name it he's seen it you see what I'm saying? Um, so don't write him off that much. It's not going to be a, uh, a walk in the park for Spence. This is not Spence versus Mikey Garcia 2.0. You see what I mean? Uh, this is Danny. This is the big boys. Uh, I, I just don't see Danny winning. Um... Because he has nothing special to bring to the table. I always say this with Danny. He's a good, solid uh, boxer. He does everything good, but not one thing great. You know, you got that. You always got that one boxer that does that one thing great. You know, you could say Mayweather. He had great defense, because and that's what people know him for for his defensive you know skills um wilder right his power knockout power he touch you you go down you see what i'm saying as far as danny he has he doesn't have that one thing to him but he's a good solid all-around guy um only thing interesting for me in this fight that I'm really interested in um, with the question marks that I have for Earl Spence is just like everybody else's question marks. One, how is he going to look like post car accident? And we know about that whole Ferrari car accident um, over a year ago. Uh, number two, how is he going to look like with a 14 month layoff over a year layoff? Of not fighting in a professional fight. Um, that's 
the only two question marks. What we should see is the same old Spence, hopefully, and he gets the job done. Um, prediction, Spence via unanimous decision. Um, do not see it. Uh, do not see Danny being stopped at all. Danny is a champion. He knows how to fight. He knows how to survive. Um, he knows how to be competitive. He's again, he does he's, he does well at everything. Not great at one thing, well at everything. He's just too slow for Earl Spence Jr. Uh, slow footed. Okay. He doesn't have fast feet. Um, I will be shocked and surprised if Earl Spence uh, stops Danny, let alone just knocks him down once. Because Danny is a good fighter. He knows how to fight. He's smart out in the ring in there too. So Danny's no chump. That's one thing. You know, we, we could talk shit about, you know, his father and all that stuff. But Dan, Danny, Danny's seen it all and, and, and been through it all. Been an underdog plenty of times before. So um, really interested about this fight. Really excited about this fight. Um, let me know what you guys think in the comments. Uh, hate, like, comment, subscribe, the whole nine. Deuce.